Greetings. So you have your Thule Chariot, and you want to tune it up. The first thing to do is disassemble this top piece. Now this is a 2014 model, so if your model doesn't have this piece, don't worry about it. It's a bit of a design flaw though. These two screws holding on these plastic pieces don't have any thread locker on them. So just unscrew them with a Phillips head bit, add some red thread locker, like you see linked in the description below to the threads and then screw them back in. Once you do that, you never have to worry about them coming out again, ever. My wife and I purchased this Thule Chariot off Craigslist for $600 with all the attachments. We were super excited about this purchase because we got it used and that means a new item didn't have to be manufactured. We also got a great deal because we didn't have to buy all these other little uh, attachments like the infant child swing or the uh, baby insert or the jogger or the bicycle attachment or the skewers. Anyway, back to the tutorial. What I'm doing here is I'm starting with a Phillips head bit, flipping the chariot upside down. I'm just tensioning all the screws to make sure they're snug, so I'm just touching every one. Then I get a 10 millimeter end wrench and just give every 10 millimeter nut a nice little turn to make sure it's snug. Then we have these four here. So we use a 10 millimeter socket, make sure they're good to go. After that, we'll remove the wheels. Oh, we found a loose 10 millimeter nut. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off by using a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just using an electric one at this point to loosen the bolt. And then we're gonna apply some red thread locker to this. Now only use red thread, thread locker if you're never going to disassemble, otherwise use blue thread locker. You can always get red off with a propane torch, but generally I just use this for things I know I'm never going to take apart. So now that we got that back in and fixed, we can do the same thing, just make sure all these bolts are nice and snug. And it's just like a snug test for all these especially the ones on the pivot points. We don't want those tight, otherwise it will make pivoting the chariot even harder, which is not the goal. Just wanna make sure we're not gonna lose any screws while we're out on trail. You can see a little fraying of the nylon strap there, and instead of cutting it and re it, we're just gonna burn down the fraying in for now and continue to monitor it on future jogs, hikes, and rides. After that, we're ready to pick up our tools for a little bit and then grab some WD-40 to clean off the wheels. So we'll pop them back on, do a little pre-spin test. Wipe our hands off, glove up, and then get a nice degreaser solvent, which is our WD-40 in a shop rag. Put some gloves on, clean off these Hubs, check the washer or the uh, press fit bearings, make sure they look good. Just cleaning these off one at a time with gloves. Now that they're nice and clean, just getting a dab of marine grade grease and greasing up these axles before popping them back in. And you can see these wheels spin beautifully once they're cleaned and lubed. All right, now we'll put our tools away and get the baby in this and go for a run on trail.